In today's video, I'll show you my favorite place to source EV batteries and how one smart buy can net you a free solar storage battery. Stay tuned to the end to find out how. All right, this is the secret sauce right here. This is Copart, copart.com, C-O-P-A-R-T.com. We're gonna check and see what they have for Nissan Leafs. If you're gonna get a Nissan Leaf, you wanna kinda concentrate between 2013 and 2017. You can get a, a newer one, but the 13s to the 17s, they're gonna be your least expensive option. 13s to the 16s had 24 kilowatt hour batteries, some 16s, and I think all the 17s had 30 kilowatt batteries. So you might get lucky and get a 16 with a 30 kilowatt hour battery. I'll show you how to determine that. And then if you click on salvage, most states you don't need any kind of a license to buy these. All right, if you buy, if you, if you click used, then you're going to have to probably go through a broker to get a car like that. So 2013 to 2017, Nissan Leaf make model. And then you can put your location, unless you're willing to travel, to grab a car. But they have these all over the country. There's, there's auction sites all over the country. So you can put your state. I think if you put your zip code, you can put a mileage you know, like how far from your zip code you're willing, you're willing to go. Let's do a search. And here we go. All right, here's a couple live auctions going right now. This one's current bid 325. This one's 975. I like to get the ones that have the least amount of damage. And the damage should be in the front or in the rear. Don't buy any cars with side damage because uh, the battery is close to the side, so chances are it's going to be damaged. If there's damage in the front or the rear, there's a lot more metal between the battery and the crash. These here are good minor dent scratches. Let's take a look at this one here. Something like this that has you know, a pretty good amount of damage. This isn't too bad, actually. It looks kind of bad, but this stuff's all plastic here. Everything's plastic. And let's take a look. The rest of it looks in pretty good condition. Now, what I like about the Copart auctions, you've got, you can see the, they list the VIN. And here's, here's the trick to determine what size battery is in there. The fourth character is either going to be an A or a B. The A indicates a 24 kilowatt hour battery, and the B is a 30 kilowatt hour battery. So this one's got a 30 kilowatt hour battery. And then another thing I like, they always have a picture of the dashboard, the display here. And you can see the state of health. Looks like nine bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine bars. So that's going to be around a 70% 70 state of health, which is good. This would be a good one to bid on if you're in that area. Let's take a look at some other ones here. There's quite a few of them here. I saw one the other day that had the side pretty well caved in. This one looks like it has a little damage, but even something like this, it probably didn't touch the battery because there's I don't see any any dents on the on the along the bottom rail here. But still, you know, unless you unless you're local and you can get down there to check it out, I still wouldn't get something that had a side impact, even though this doesn't look too bad. Something like this, I would probably stay away from that. That's too close to where the battery is going to come right up about to here. So, yeah, something like this I would stay away from. And it's got quite a lot of miles on it. Probably the battery, I don't know, what year is it, 15? 
I wouldn't expect the battery to be in that great a condition. Yeah, see the, this one's way down. It's only got four bars, so this uh, definitely stay away from that. There's your two hints. The VIN is either going to be an A or a B. Preferably get the, get the B with the 30 kilowatt hour battery. And like I say, these, these Nissan Leafs, they're going to be your, your cheapest option to get some decent storage. And for my, for my purposes, I just run the, uh, the miners during the day, and I just need enough juice to give me about an hour on a full battery. That takes care of most cloud cover. It gives me enough time to shut down gracefully if need be, and it gives me about an extra hour at night or I can shut it down early and start earlier in the morning. For the price, I mean, I picked my cars up for around $1,200. Let me show you what, uh, what I was talking about to get a, a free battery in the end. So what you would do is part the car out. If you just parted out the charger, the inverter, and the motor, you'd probably break even. Here's some eBay listings. You can see that a motor sold today for $700. Just that one part covers like half of the car. Here's some listings for chargers and inverters. If you wanted to get real industrious, there's a lot more parts to sell. I wouldn't be surprised if you doubled what you paid for the car. All right, that's going to do it for this one. Hope you at least got some entertainment value out of it. Don't forget about that signature solar link and coupon code in the description. Appreciate you guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. Adios.